Cliff jumping or diving is exactly what it sounds like, jumping off a cliff. It's possible that you saw someone else do it or saw in a movie. Cliff diving is likely the most straightforward extreme sport. No equipment, specialized attire, or service provider needs to be hired. Your body is all that is involved as it soars through the air from dizzying heights before falling into a body of water below. Cliff jumping gives you an adrenaline surge in a fall that lasts for a few seconds while packing independence and fearlessness. Additionally, your velocity decreases nearly immediately as you approach the water. You decrease from your top speed to zero in about a second. You actually need to go through it for yourself, and after you do, you might want to go through it once more. In today's video, we'll talk about history of cliff diving. Although it may seem hard to believe, cliff diving is more than just an adrenaline rush for thrill seekers. It's a widely respected adventure sport with historical roots and extremely intense competitors. In Hawaii in the 1700s, cliff diving first appeared. Cliff diving served as a kind of initiation for his warriors under King Kahakili, one of Hawaii's last remaining autonomous rulers. In order to demonstrate their commitment, he demanded they leap over cliffs like he did. King Kahakili's cliff jumping tricks gained attention as time went on. In fact, it became so well liked that people started practicing cliff diving in competition with one another rather than just being a test of devotion for Hawaiian warriors. Although the first competitions were a little crude, they later developed into sophisticated championships with international recognition under the World High Diving Federation WHDF. In 1996, Switzerland saw the establishment of the WHDF. The Swiss Olympic Committee approves of it and regards it as an autonomous, highly regarded institution. Since it was founded, it has been credited with reviving the sport of cliff diving, and as such, is frequently cited as a leading authority on the subject. Along with planning some of the most well-known cliff diving events in the world, the WHDF also develops a highly complex set of standards for evaluating cliff divers' performances and levels levels of difficulty. The sport had a significant increase in popularity during the course of the 20th century. Cliff diving was initially made available to viewers in their homes through televised tournaments, which also made the sport more well known. This led to competitions taking place all over the world, and a curious and interested audience would regularly tune in to watch the action. Even in the modern day, Cliff diving is still considered to be a very risky and fairly specialized activity that, if done incorrectly, can cause major harm or even death. Extreme athletes known as cliff divers have mastered the aerobatic maneuvers necessary to participate in the strenuous exercise without suffering life-threatening injuries. The High Diving World Championships are open to both male and female competitors, but the maximum diving height for female competitors is 20 meters. An audience of up to 70,000 individuals attends each year's Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Diverse locations, such as castles, cliffs, towers, bridges, and the Copenhagen Opera House, are used by participants for their dives. At the Mall de la Fusta, Barcelona's port, three renowned divers, Gary Hunt, Blake Aldridge, and Tom Daly, the last of whom participated in the 2008 Olympic Synchro, were scheduled to dive on a 27 meter high platform in 3 seconds at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. The World Championships for Swimming in August 2015 were won by Gary Hunt of the United Kingdom. The competitors of this event were 30 years old on average. Divers are working to have this sport be an Olympic competition for the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, France. Cecily Carlton of the United States won the first gold medal at the 2013 World Aquatics Championship with a final score of 211.60 to become the first female world champion in this discipline. Orlando Duquois of Colombia, who earned a score of 590.20, became the first male global champion. The standards for what qualifies as a genuine dive are a major topic of discussion in relation to world record claims for the highest dive. For more than 10 years, the Emmy-winning sports anthology program Wide World of Sports at ABC created world record high dives. Participants have to dive or perform at least one somersault and escape the water on their own without help. At SeaWorld in San Diego, Wide World of Sports staged its final world record high dive in 1983. Dana Coons 
Bruce Bossia, Rick Winters, Rick Charles, and Mike Foley all completed successful dives from a height of 52 meters. Randy Dickinson dived from a height of 53.24 meters in 1985 at Ocean Park in Hong Kong, but he broke his femur and was unable to get out of the ocean by himself. Olivier Favre broke his back while attempting a double back somersault in 1987 from a height of 54 meters, necessitating rescue efforts. According to ABC's standards, Lasso Schaller's 2015 jump from a cliff in Switzerland measuring 59 meters may not qualify as a dive. One somersault is required. However, he currently holds the record for the highest dive from a diving board according to the Guinness Book of Records, and also holds the record for the highest cliff jump for the same jump. However, if we analyze the sport in greater detail, we can see that it is in fact risky to engage in. Every competitor has a hurdle when performing cliff dives because they are thought to be so risky and tough. In addition to the physical challenges, they can also be mentally taxing. Injuries become a genuine concern because divers can be moving at speeds of more than 60 to 70 miles per hour when they enter the water. Concussions, compression fractures, bruising, abrasions, and even spinal injury are among the most frequent wounds. These dangers are the reason why these athletes practice at much lower altitudes in the beginning, honing their techniques well before they even think about ascending higher. The skills required to land safely in the ocean, as well as the self-assurance to push themselves to even higher cliff faces are acquired through time by the cliff jumpers. Consider asking a knowledgeable athlete who is currently engaged in the activity for assistance if you're thinking about taking up cliff diving as a sport. Prior to making an attempt to dive from the top of a high cliff, they are likely to stress the value of technical training, being in top physical shape, and diving frequently from lower altitudes. Even so, there are still a lot of other things to think about, including the weather, the waves, and the topography, both on the cliffside itself and in the water below. Although the positioning of rocks and other impediments must also be taken into consideration and kept in mind by divers, wind conditions in particular can have a significant impact on the success of a safe landing. Although dangerous, the sport gives you an adrenaline rush. Perhaps what makes it so appealing is the sensation of letting go and becoming like a bird. Cliff diving is generating a lot of interest despite being a severe sport. Tourists that come with the goal of jumping off frightening cliffs into the chilly blue waters frequent locations like Buza Bar in Dubrovnik, Kamari Beach in Santorini, and Ao Tano Bay in Koh Tao, among others. Unfortunately, there is a lot of negative of press because some divers do not take the safety precautions necessary and injuries and fatalities do happen, says Weymouth, and adds, for anybody who wants to dive, follow these vital steps. It should be at least 4 meters deep, therefore check the water's depth, ensure that your friends are in the water and prepared to assist you if you become injured, and the most crucial thing in terms of height is to gradually increase. If you have never jumped before, jumping from an elevation higher than 40 feet is exceedingly risky. Be smart and avoid making decisions that you will later regret because poor landings from higher heights might result in serious injury. Hope this video added some value to your knowledge and thoughts. Do share your views in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.